Hi everybody, Spurgle here, back again, episode 3 of this clothing porting tutorial. This time we will um, do a weight transfer and export the mesh over to Object Builder. Now between the last episode and where I am now, I've tweaked the mesh a little bit more. Um, we had some strange quads around, well not strange quads, just, just quads, around the, the seam from the mirror. See here, that's those four vertices make up a quad. So I fixed that with the triangulate modifier um, on the back of the player. Where is it? Somewhere. There it is. There's a stray vertice that I've clearly dragged out of position at some point. And what else was there? Quads, stray vertice. I, I fitted it a little bit better. Notice the uh, weird hump in the back. And the, the chest area is not well defined compared to the player model. See, then they just don't match. Whereas my new one seems to fit a little bit nicer well I think it does so anyway that was the end of episode 2 this is where we are now in episode 3 uh, on to the weight transfer now before doing a weight transfer you need to make sure your mirror is applied else the weights will you know we'll have left hand weights here and on the mirrored side once the mirror modifier gets applied so I want to do a quick I'll get out of edit mode, select my episode 3 jacket, so quick copy paste so we've got a backed up version, we'll leave this jacket low on its own and we'll take this one, rename it jacket weighted and go down here and apply the mirror, so this one's still got the mirror, this is our backup, that's my backup of episode 2 all in the dot blend and this jacket weighted is the one we're going to apply the weights to because there's no more mirror modifier. Doing the weights is as easy as select your jacket, weight paint tool, go back over here, make sure your jacket's selected, then shift click on the female player and hide that one. We don't need that one. So you've got jacket weighted and female player both selected. Jacket weighted is the light orange, female player is the dark orange, or if you're doing a male jacket, you know, the other way around. And then simply weights, transfer weights. Uh, this tool will pop up or there'll be a little pop-up menu to click just down here. And then source layer select, change that to by name. And we're done. The weights have been transferred. You can see a little bit of color appearing on the head there. So go to the vertex groups, this one, object data property. And you've got vertex groups and you can see your weights. There's the spine and all the player weights that are on the player model that tie up to the armature and the skeleton have all been transferred over to your item. Now you'll find with uh, relatively tight fitting items like this jacket, you should do a pretty good job with just the straight up weight transfer. Looser like, I don't know if it was say a poncho and it was all big and baggy sagging down here and the hood was up and or sagging a bit more. A backpack that pokes out it may not transfer the weight so well so you'll have to use the weight painting tool in this or an object builder now there's plenty of tutorials on how to weight paint in blender on youtube go watch a couple use this tool select your vertex group that you want to edit change your weight your radius your strength your brush so on and so forth explain it a lot better than i can in other people's tutorials so go find a couple and um, yeah, for now, that, that will do us for this jacket. I'm quite happy with how that will be for now. We'll see what it's like when we get it in Object Builder and in game. Uh, I just want to show you a quick way of testing your, your weighted item before leaving Blender. Like again, I was saying about the poncho, big baggy thing, that if you've missed a few vertices with the weight transfer, you may not see them when just scrolling through the, the vertex groups. So get 
your item, go to the modifiers tab, add an armature, and select your armature from the drop down list or use the dripper to select your armature from up here. And now that's applying this armature to this mesh, which means if we click on the armature, go to pose mode, you can grab some bones and with rotate, move them around. Oh, wait a minute. Let's hide the old jacket because that one's not weighted. But yeah, move the bones around and um, see if you've missed any vertices or if there's any strange stretching and contortionism going on with your model. All right, bend your arm backwards. No, you shouldn't bend your arm backwards. But it's just, just a quick way of you know checking you haven't missed anything. If we missed some of the wrist or the wrist didn't have enough weight, it would be left behind when we bent this elbow all the way round. Try and bend it in a bit more normal manner, shall we? can be easier to hide the female flare model because some of the bones are tucked away inside. You just have a play around, put your character in some poses that you might recognize from in game or similar to in game and you'll soon see if you've missed. We're just checking for obvious missed vertices and distortion. Then yeah, once you're happy with your poses and um, checking you've not missed any vertices. You can um, hit A, select your, or select all, hit A, right click and clear all user transforms to reset your armature. Bring the player model back in. And yeah, mess around with your weight painting, your, your um, posing to check. Once you're finally completely happy, go back to object mode, we can hide the armature now, we can select our weighted object, do a quick control, control A and just make sure all transforms are applied and now open up your armor object properties, make sure that the item that you, you want is um, selected and a resolution LOD, check all the other LODs or um, vertex groups, selections, to make sure they're not uh, selected. I like to bring the female flare model over to Object Builder with me as a edit LOD. Yeah, I've got all the different LODs here. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So we'll do a quick save of the dot blend and we'll export armor P3D, leather jacket female, that's it. Let's go leather jacket female. And there we are. We are in Object Builder with all of our weights transferred. Uh, the edit LOD with the female player model. And our zero resolution LOD but we'll, we'll continue on in the next episodes from this point here. Anyway, till next time, peeps. Laters.